Today I want to share with you a simple routine that you can do daily to really invigorate your body. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. And today I want to share with you this routine that to, you can do daily to help build up the energy in your body, relax stress, but also strengthen your body. Now, this is a Qigong exercise. It's a combination of a couple different practices, some of them that will help your body to relax and some of them that will help to strengthen. Now, a lot of the other routines that I do in the qigongforvitality.com are very relaxing. Some are more meditative, but this one will actually help strengthen your body, especially if you have issues with your shoulder, your neck, your upper back, and your arms. Okay, so I'll show you the exercises first, and then we'll go through a little short routine. So the first exercise in this routine is called playing with water. So you can start with your feet about shoulder width apart. Now just start to stand comfortably. Um, if you're standing on a water's edge like me, just make sure you stand stably and don't fall in. So now what you're going to do is your hands come down and you lift up and then go out and around. So it's as if you're picking up water and throwing it up in the air. I mean not throwing up in the air, but throwing the water up in the air, throwing it up and around. Okay, so you can start off slowly or you can start off a little bit faster, but then as your body gets a little bit more relaxed, you'll probably slow down. So the idea here is your arms come down as your body comes down. Dip your hands into the water, and as your hands come up, your body comes up, and you throw the water up in the air. I always get an image of like a shampoo or conditioner commercial and in slow motion, but the idea, yeah, come down all at once, throw the water up into the air. So playing with water, this is a very nice warm-up type of exercise you can do every day. If you have tight shoulders, tight neck, tight upper back, this is an excellent exercise. Okay, the second exercise is part of what's called Yi Jing, which means muscle and tendon changing. Now this is one of the oldest forms of Qigong, and it's a, it's, this one's the invigorating exercise. Now what you do here is, again, ready position, feet flat on the ground, don't fall into the water, now you bring your hands up to the prayer position. Okay, so with this one here, it's not gentle and soft. It's tense. You want to flex your arms, your hands down, and flex them and come into the prayer position. Push the hands together. Okay, so hands coming up, tense, and push into the prayer position. And then, then, then hands open up. And you put your hands out here, like a little chicken. Push your hands out. Relax the hands. Push the palms out. And then relax the hands. Back down. So a little bit involved in that one here. Okay. So roll the hands up. Prayer position. Come up. Little chicken. Push the fingers out. Stretch. Relax. Push the palms out, push, and relax, and back down. So this is the first series, or first exercise in this series called um, Jing or uh, muscle and tendon changing. So this exercise, you want to feel that tension because when you feel that tension, it helps strengthen the muscles and the tendons and really drives circulation through the meridians and the joints and all the soft tissue. So stretch that joint, push the palms. Come to the little chicken. The little chicken is not really the official name for it, but I just kind of think it looks like a small chicken. But in this one here, you're pushing your fingers out, pushing all the way out so you can reach the mountains all the way over there. And then you relax the hands, soften the body. Now you push the palms out, push the base of the palm, pushing out. Now you feel a stretch over underneath the arm. So you're stimulating a lot of acupuncture meridians when you're doing this exercise. Okay, and the breathing goes breathing in, Breathing out, breathing in, little chicken, breathing out. Breathing in, push the palms, breathing out. Breathing in and out. Easy. <laughs> the last exercise is called Wild Goose Spreads Wings. So you wanna have one foot forward and one foot back. Now the arms come back as you lean back. And as you come forward, hands come up to the level of the shoulder and stretch out like a big proud goose and then come back to the center and push back. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, weight comes forward and out. Weight comes back. 
Good, same thing on the other side. This is the risky side here. Breathing out. Breathing in, comes, hands come up. Breathing in and breathing out, coming back. So again, you want to coordinate your upper body and your lower body together. So don't worry too much about the details with this one. This one is actually quite fantastic too for the shoulders, the posture, the upper back, the neck, any kind of forward head position if you're on the computer a lot. Okay, and that's it. Those are those three exercises. So what were they again? So the first one is playing with the water. Okay. The next one is the first part of the e -jing, muscle tendon changing. And that is hands come up, down, come up, little chicken, push, relax, push with the palms, come back in and down. And last exercise, wild goose spreads its wings. I'll do it towards you here, breathing out, breathing in, stretch, breathing out, breathing in, nice and balanced and grounded and breathing out. Good. All right, so now if you're ready, let's go through this routine. So find a comfortable position, your feet are flat on the ground, you're in your body, knees are bent, relax your body, relax your shoulders, your arms, your neck. Okay, take a few deep breaths. Good, playing with water, hands coming out, bend the legs, breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in, and out. Breathing in, Remember, you're warming up the body, not major stretch here. Just warming it up. Feel the chi, feel the energy moving through your upper back, your shoulders, your neck. So this is a nice soft movement, no stop and end. It's just kind of nicely rolling. Good, three more, breathing in. Last one, breathing in. Good, back to the ready position. Next exercise, muscle changing. Breathing in, hands come up, tense. Breathing out, push the palms together. Sink, breathing in. Hands come to the shoulders, breathing out. Stretch, breathing in, come back to the center. Breathing out, push with the base of the palms. Breathing in, come back to the level of the shoulder and breathe out. Good, repeat. In. Breathing in. Oh. Good. Repeat. Breathing in, drawing the energy up through the arms. Breathing out, pushing it into the center of the body. Breathing in, drawing the energy up. Breathing out, pushing it out through the fingers, all the way through the horizon. Stretch. Breathing in, relax the arms. Breathing out, push with your palms all the way to the horizon. Breathing in, back to the shoulders, breathing out.
Good, one more, breathing in. Tense, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing in and out. Good, relax. Shake that out. Now, wild goose. Breathing out, breathing in and out. Try to dissipate the energy, the chi that's built up from that last ex exercise. This one's soft, this one's flowing. Maintain stability in your legs. Good, last one. Breathing in. Now. Good. Last side. Breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. So when your arms come up like you're a goose, you wanna think about opening your chest. Don't think about pushing your hands back. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together and rolling your shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. If you just push your hands back, then you might strain your shoulder. Good, two more. Last one, breathing in, drawing in the chi into the body, opening the chest and breathing out. Good. Shake out your body a little bit. Good, and you're done. So you can practice this exercise once a day, even twice a day. I would ease into it and probably not do it more than twice a day, but this is going to be excellent for helping your shoulders, the tendons, and the strength in your arms. So if you have arthritis, or if you have tightness in the body, or weakness anywhere in the upper body, this is fantastic to do. Also, if you work at a desk and you're, you, you, you're set in one position all day long, especially if it's not a very good position ergonomically, this is really good to help work out those muscle imbalances. If you like this style of Qigong, you can come visit us in the community at qigongforvitality.com. Here we have all sorts of full routines that focus on all sorts of different things like heart and the liver and the classic eight brocades, all sorts of different content that we're constantly adding to. So if you're interested, you can come give us a seven day free trial and see if it fits for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to like and share it with somebody you might think might benefit. See you again.